Zimbabwe holds a general election on the 31st of July. Electoral officials, soldiers and police officers who will be working on the day are voting early. 69,000 police officers have registered to vote. But Prime Minister Morgan Tsvangirai's MDC party says just over 44,000 are on the government books, a difference of more than 20,000. Police spokesperson Charity Charamba says the extra numbers make up a police reserve unit. These people are not like they are part-time people. They are actually conducting their duties all along. And they are also empowered under the Police Act to perform any other duty that is performed by police officers. So we dismiss all these false allegations that police are going to rig elections and so on. Elections in Zimbabwe have always been controversial. This one is no exception. The MDC party says it only wants those on the official salary roll to be allowed to vote. Prime Minister Morgan Tsvangirai's party says it's challenging the number of police officers registered to vote. They plan to go to court on Monday saying they are concerned about vote rigging. The human rights group Amnesty International released a report on Friday saying police and soldiers continue to target and intimidate human rights defenders ahead of the polls. What we may not have this time around uh, probably is uh, vote staffing, ballot staffing and all that, but uh, we may have uh, a cleaner way of manipulating the election, playing around with the numbers. That, that, that could be what is going on. Police and soldiers are voting on Sunday and Monday. Some say the process is too slow. Others that there were polling stations that opened late and didn't have enough ballot papers. Despite a shortage of funds, electoral officials say the public will vote at the end of this month. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.